Thank you for tuning in for the latest episode of the Rice Crypto Show. And joining me today is Miss Teen Crypto. And I wanted to bring her on today's show so we can highlight what she is doing to bring crypto adoption to Generation Z. But before we get into it, if this just happens to be your first time ever watching any of my videos, I do encourage you to explore my channel. Make sure you're subscribed, smash that like button, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my videos as they come out. I encourage everyone to check out my Patreon channel where I post up exclusive content. You get early access to videos and I'm doing monthly giveaways for patrons only. It's also a way to support the channel directly. Follow my sister channel on Library and Odyssey where I post up extra videos. Check out my audio podcast, Rice Radio, that is hosted on Anchor.fm. It's available on every major podcasting platform at Rice Radio, and new episodes are out and coming out weekly. And if you haven't heard, I've recently partnered up with Money Metals Exchange. You can get a free half ounce of silver. Visit moneymetals.com. If you're a first-time buyer and you purchase $100 or more and you use the promo code RICE, R-I-C-E, you'll get a free half ounce of silver. It's an additional way to support the channel. Gonna have links down below for everything I just mentioned, as well as everything that we talk about on today's show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, joining me on today's show is somebody who I've been looking forward to bringing on in quite some time. I actually wanted to meet her father before I brought her on, which I had a chance to do while I was at Bitcoin Ben's meetup in New Jersey. So shout out to uh, Miss Teen Crypto's father. But I wanted to introduce this, this lovely young lady because she's doing some really awesome things in the cryptocurrency space. She's taken it upon herself to start spreading cryptocurrency awareness and be an advocate to Generation Z. So we have Miss Teen Crypto in house. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm chilling. How are you? I'm doing great. And I really appreciate you accepting my invitation. This is a conversation I've been looking forward to because um, I have a lot of respect for younger people who want to start spreading awareness of not only things like blockchain and cryptocurrency, but freedom in general. And Bitcoin and cryptocurrency are one of those tools that get us to that aspect. So I appreciate you bringing awareness. Uh, I want to let people know I'm going to have links down below for all your social media stuff so people can check it out. Because your Instagram, I really like. Uh, You got a lot of really cool videos on there. Some of those videos you put on your Twitter account and you have your very own web page, which we'll show here in just a little bit. But (laughs) in just a moment. So now who, who, in your words, who is Miss Teen Crypto and, and why did you decide that you wanted to start being an advocate and spreading awareness to Generation Z, Miss MTC? Well, um, my dad always talked about crypto, so I figured I'd get into it myself. Miss Teen Crypto to me is someone who could, you know, spread awareness about crypto because honestly, no one knows about it yet. Even in my school, people know about missing crypto or Bitcoin because I started doing it. And I think from there, like they talk about it with their friends. And then I think slowly, like it spreads. Um, I just really want people to know about crypto and I want to spread it in the most positive way possible because there's so much negative energy in this world right now, especially 2020, man. Right. So I just wanted to, you know, do something in a positive way and, you know, try to incorporate people I know too, because, you know, I just want everyone to feel the good energy. Awesome. I love that. It's a good answer. And what I usually find is, especially, uh, it seems to be very typical in the behavior of a teenager is when your parents are into something to not be into what your parents are into. Um, so it usually tends to be kind of the opposite and a little bit of a disconnect. How did it go about that you decided that you wanted to um, promote cryptocurrencies being that your father was so passionate about it? Well, I mean, he just wouldn't stop talking about it, right? I mean, this was like, what, three years of nonstop, oh my God, Bitcoin. And then (laughs) like, he always has CNBC on. So then I would come in and then I'd see, and he'd be like, oh my God, oh my God, there's Bitcoin on the TV. And I'll be like, oh, whatever. But then I got into it. So when I got into it, I wanted to see like what he was doing on Twitter. So I kind of stalked his account. So (laughs) 
I stalked his account and then I started seeing all the people he followed. And then I realized everyone's really sweet. Everyone's so cute. Like everyone's ha has like their own thing going. Like everyone has like their stores or they have th like their own different type of thing they do. Like Johnny Litecoin has the seeds and he like, you know, does videos with the coin flip ATMs. Like everyone has their own thing they do. And I think that's so cute. So I wanted to do something too. <laughs> I get it. I get it. And yeah, I mean the cryptocurrency space, um, there is a lot of really good community aspect to it. You know, unfortunately there is drama as well, but that's just a portion of it. And it's just, um, when I say that, I'm just saying uh, social media can get crazy, you know, and, oh, and, if, and it's unfortunate that it, um, it takes out that really personal element of humanity and it just replaces it with words and non-emotions and it, it changes the aspects, the way we communicate and, um, I mean, we've seen a lot of toxic things in the cryptocurrency space with hard forks and communities being divided. You've yeah. seen tribalism with things like Bitcoin maximalists and people who are thinking that their coin is the one coin to rule them all. So, and I like the fact that you've come into this as unbiased as possible, that you're not Miss Teen Bitcoin, you're not Miss Teen Litecoin, you're coming in as Miss Teen Crypto and you're really just trying to promote cryptocurrencies in general. And yeah, I mean, it's important. So, so you had, I didn't, I didn't want to focus on one thing because I felt like I don't know about crypto, like, you know, as a whole, there's so much to it. So why would I just pick one thing? Right. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Now, since um, you've been educating some of your peers and your classmates and things like that, um, and you've been doing things like with the seed cards and stuff like that. What are some of the other things that you've done aside from just talking to people that you know directly, your social media and the seed cards? Is there anything else that you're doing right now that, that you're using to promote cryptocurrencies? Um, well, I kind of use my personal Instagram and stuff like that. So I would post about like, you know, just random, you know, oh, does anyone have questions about cryptocurrency? So I would like post something on my Snapchat so that way, like people can anonymously ask me a question. So that way I know what other people my age are thinking, mm -hmm. because I feel like I don't know much about crypto, but I feel like I know more than like a lot, like more than people I know, mm -hmm. like people know what Bitcoin is, but they really just don't know much about it. So I just want to see what their perspective is. So I kind of do polls and um, people approach me sometimes. So that's, that's where I get some of my information from. Because they want to know like how to get it and things like that. It's really like simple things. And the cool part about this is you don't have to be an expert and a know-it-all in all of this technology to be able right? to, to pass on knowledge. Because if yeah. people should realize in their lives that we're always learning and we're always teaching. So, yeah. and, and as we learn, we can teach more. But I mean, just getting people into the basics of what cryptocurrency is, is, is really the first step. So when you're explaining what Bitcoin is to your peers, how do you describe what Bitcoin is? Well, I also, I give them, um, you know, the link to Bitcoin.org. I give them a video that I actually attached to my website yesterday. Um, I just explained that it's not currency. It's not, it, it is a currency. It's just not paper money. So I basically say, imagine the stuff in your wallet, but on your phone and there's no bank account, like you hold your funds. And from there, they're like, oh, that's really cool. So I don't have to go through Venmo and all that. I'm like, no, it's just literally me to you. Do a little screen so, share here. So that, so then I kind of go from there and I say how easy it is to use. Like, all you have to do is scan a QR or copy and paste an address. And there you go. It's simple. That's how I kind of go from there. It's literally money on your phone. Okay. Very cool. And I'll have links down below for your website, MissTeamCrypto.com, as well as your Twitter and your Instagram so people can check it out. But I really like this. Who is Miss Teen Crypto? You're a 17-year-old girl from New York City that loves crypto, and your main goal is to spread crypto adoption to Generation Z. So I think that's really cool. I love the website. I love the fact that you got NFTs coming. I see here that you have a podcast coming soon. Can we talk about that? Um, sure. I mean, I just i'm just brainstorming i want to do it soon i'm just trying to see who i could maybe get to come on what my exact vision is but it's definitely gonna be about asking basic questions to people things that you know beginners like me want to know 
Okay. And also I hope to get people, you know, my friends on so that, you know, Tom, my friend who came on my video, I think I posted Saturday. Yeah, um, I like that video a lot. This yeah, me and Tom, he ran for school president and he's really good at it. And he was really good in the video. I freaking had so much fun with him. He was really into Bitcoin and now he wants to know more about it. So I'm thinking like bring people like him on, people that, you know, other kids my age can connect to. Awesome. And I definitely encourage people, I'm not going to play the whole video or anything like that, but go to Miss Teen Crypto's Instagram account, check out some of these videos. This one with Tom, I wasn't going to mention his name until you mentioned his name. I just feel weird with everybody being under 18. Um, That was the reason why I wanted to get your father's permission before I brought you on the show, um, just out of respect. Um, But this video itself is really very, very cute. Um, I like the way that you were promoting Bitcoin, how you were sending Bitcoin through the wallet, and then how you mentioned at the end how he got your vote, how you tied that all together. I really thought that was very creative. And there's a little video too where me, Bitcoin Ben, Ken Bozak, The Public Awakening, you see Johnny Litecoin. This is a guy named Randy um, out in New Jersey. All of us, we did a little video too that people can check out. Um, That was really awesome. I love doing that. That was a great time. Except for yeah. after you guys left. I don't think you heard about it, but without going into a lot of detail, I'll tell you a little bit more after we're done recording. But um, it was a couple hours after, maybe an hour and a half after Ben left. So I'm not exactly sure the time frame where you and your dad left, but I was in a bathroom uh, and some older gentleman, for whatever reason, decided to sucker punch me and hit me. And I ended up getting a black eye out of the thing for about a week. Oh, right. I'm sorry. That's oh, no, it's cool. it's cool. I mean, I ended up raging for a little bit afterwards. The guy left very quickly. Um, nothing else escalated. But um, aside from that incident, that whole meetup was really a great experience. It was good meeting you and your dad and being able to hang out with Ben and see Ken and a lot of the other folks that were out there, Johnny Litecoin, Jason, the Public Awakening, and everybody else. So it was cool that you came out and did something like that. I really thought it was cool that you went out in the public. Yeah. And, I loved it. I had, dude, just like talking about them, like in flashbacks, I had so much fun. I was so nervous to go, but then like, you know, it's so cool seeing like, you know, people off of like a podcast. Like I see you on a podcast, Ben on a podcast, Ken, but it's cool to see you guys in person. Like, I feel like it's a whole vibe. Like it's such a good vibe. It was great. I had such a it's good a, It's a family thing. It really is. It when really you get, is. You get looped like, in the community, it's very loving and, and everybody everybody for the most part is very cool to each other. Um, so I, I feel very blessed to be able to be um, just to know a lot of the people I know. And, and I was very fortunate to meet you and your dad. That was a great experience. Um, the one advice that I'll give to you regarding your podcast, and if you have any questions, you know, with, with how to do some things or your whatever, let me know. I'll try to help you out the best I can. But when I was starting my channel, I would have started my channel it ended up starting in January of 2018, really early January. I think it was like basically the beginning of the year. But I would have started probably four, four to six months earlier had I not been such a procrastinator. I was just procrastinating. I was just putting off why I wasn't doing it, making up excuses. And, um, and finally, I, I don't know why I never watched PewDiePie videos, but I watched a video that he did. And it was talking about starting a channel and just said, don't procrastinate. Um, Use what you have. Don't worry about your equipment. And then as you go, start building up and start getting better at what you do. If it's something you're passionate about. And I started out with my laptop that had the camera on the laptop and the microphone on the laptop. So the most crappiest of situations that you could start out with. And then as I got into it more, start learning about equipment, upgrading equipment, started learning about how to video edit so it's just a matter of doing it just jump in the pool and swim yeah you know you sound like you've got a pretty good idea about what you would what you would want to do and i think talking to your peers and doing like basic education and just communicating like the ideas of what cryptocurrency is and what blockchain is and how it can be disruptive how it can be positive for everybody and then also talk about some of the negative aspects and we had, we're seeing a lot of talk going on with um, going cashless and governments introducing digital dollars and banks having central, central bank digital currencies. So, I mean, 
cryptocurrency and blockchain are tools and it can be used in, in multiple ways. But the more education we have out there promoting decentralization and educating people about the fundamental value of why Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies were created in the first place is what we need to spread that awareness. So I commend you for, for working on your Generation Z. Thank you. I mean, I'm going to try my best. I, I mean, I'm, I don't know that much. So I'm trying to teach as I learn. I don't know if that makes sense. No, totally. And, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, do the basics because sometimes like I see something on Twitter. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm not an expert. I don't think anyone in crypto, you know, really knows everything because they're so they're so freaking much. And it so, moves so fast. The space moves very fast. I mean, there's a lot of things right? in the DeFi element that I haven't really put a lot of attention to. I have a general idea of like what yield farming and a lot of these, um, yeah, I have. a lot of that is about, but when it comes down to actually doing it and know how to utilize these resources, it's not something that I've put a lot of attention into. So, I mean, you could almost specialize in certain areas and just because even being specialized, you're still continuing to learn this technology is overall is so young that there's so much to go. And that's why I like, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to bring you on. I had another guy on um, earlier this year. His name is Kusha Azim, and he co-wrote a book, and he's 17 as well. And um, so awesome. I really wanted to highlight people that were younger that were promoting these technologies because it's really your generation and younger that are really going to reap the benefits of this technology. You know, it's almost as if, the people like myself and Ken Bozak and all the people that came before us were just laying the groundwork, being test bed, the, the guinea pigs for the future generations. So this technology can be, can be used so simply. Because right now, I mean, I'm sure you can see there's a lot of things that cause a lot of hurdles in the cryptocurrency space because of the user experience and how it's not exactly simple in a lot of things to do. Sometimes it's a tedious process yeah i feel like crypto is really early like like i feel like all of this like wallet and c word and like all these like multi-step things i feel like maybe one day they're gonna you know be one step or something like that you know i feel like this is like the first version of like the mac like the macintosh computer mm -hmm. so i feel like you know everything's gonna get updated you know like the first iphone compared to now there were so many updates i feel like you know it'll be on the same path well I, said i'm and that's also why I wanted to do a video with uh, Tom to show how Bitcoin works because a lot of people are just intimidated by it. So I was just you, like, it's so simple to use. I just wanted to show people and Tom loved it. So, well, the best thing too, I can say, I guess is a final th thing to wrap things up with is there's a lot of technology that people don't understand that they utilize. You don't have to completely understand every inner working of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency to be able to utilize it. Um, I don't really understand yeah. how email works. Uh, I'm, you know, being able to type up something and just put in some digits and, and some different alpha characters and then it somehow arrives to your account. I can't explain how that takes place, but I know it works. So I oh. use it. And yeah, you know, no, that's, that's the beauty of technology. You don't have to understand it completely to be able to utilize it. That's so true. That's a really good point. So I guess in final closing, you know, I definitely want to bring you back on and maybe I can uh, do something, you know, at, obviously we had to be waiting until after the beginning of next year, but we'll figure out something what we can do and bring you back on and highlight some of the things you've been doing. And before we do wrap up, do you have any final thoughts or anything you'd like to leave people with? Sure. I mean, thank you for having me on. I had a lot of fun at the meetup seeing you, seeing you now. Um, thank you for people who have supported me. I've had so much fun doing crypto and I didn't think, you know, I'd be, you know, where I am right now being on a podcast. Like that's insane. So thank you so much. Thank you for the good energy. I'll always be putting out good energy and, you know, spread love and Bitcoin. <laughs> like I was telling you before, though, I mean, we're all just people. Just because somebody might have subscribers or whatever the situation might be, we're all the same and we're in this together. And ultimately, we've got to be looking out for one another. And that's the importance of community. So thank you again, MTC. I appreciate. And I'm going to have links down below for everything we talked about so you can check out MST and Crypto's, her own webpage and her Twitter and Instagram accounts. And again, 
um, I definitely encourage you to check that out. Now, if this is your first time ever watching any of my videos, I do encourage you to explore my channel. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my videos as they come out. And as always, I encourage you to be the change by practicing change. Thank <laughs> you.